Hey guys! So today for homework assignment number four, I want to talk to you about American optimism. It is something that we um, as a society um, culturally have accepted that is something that's a foundation of Americans um, ever since the very beginning with the first colonists and even till today we even have research done that we're actually a little more optimistic than our neighboring countries so I thought that was pretty interesting anyways I hope you enjoy and I'll see you later bye America's inextinguishable optimism to look on the bright side of things allowed huge leaps of accomplishments, creating life-changing inventions and methods, and simply living life to its fullest. And this trait still personifies Americans today, as shown in recent data on national attitudes that showcases the conventional views of American optimism. In the words of Winston Churchill, attitude is the little thing that makes a big difference, and what is arguably America's most exceptional attitude is its boundless optimism. In Lawrence's Shames article, The More Factor, he reminds us of three crucial attributes that set apart Americans from others. Frontier, opportunity, and more. This has been the American Trinity from the very start. Such was the remarkable life of Louis Zamperini, as told masterfully in his biography titled Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand. She describes Louis's childhood filled with mischief, however it shaped who he would be in manhood. Confident that he was clever, resourceful, and bold enough to escape any predicament, he was almost incapable of discouragement. When history carried him into war, this resilient optimism would define him. Louis Zamperini was the first generation child born in Torrance, California in January 26, 1917. He was raised by his Italian immigrant parents and competed in the 1936 Olympics in Berlin. He joined the Army Air Corps as a bombardier in 1941 and survived 47 days stranded on a raft with two other survivors in May 1943. Soon after, they were captured and became a Japanese prisoner of war for two years. Decorated as a World War II veteran and survivor, he married Cynthia Applewhite in 1946. He died at home at the age of 97 from pneumonia on July 2, 2014, and as the spokesperson of finding forgiveness and happiness. Perpetual optimism and the ability to recover from adversity is a permanent feature of Americans just like apple pie and baseball. Michael F. Scheer, a leading psychology researcher from Carnegie Mellon University, states how optimism can be beneficial for physical and psychological well-being. Similarly, by focusing on the future and potential outcomes associated with achieving survival, America's inextinguishable optimism to look on the bright side of things allowed huge leaps of accomplishments, create life-changing inventions and methods, and simply living life to the fullest. And like I said, this trait still personifies Americans today, as shown in recent data on national attitudes that showcases the conventional views of American optimism compared to other countries around us. According to analysis by George Gao of Pew Research Center, Americans are far more upbeat when asked if they're having a particularly good day than their peers in other advanced nations like Germany, the UK, Spain, France, and Japan. As written by President Barack Obama in his online article titled Why I am Optimistic in the Smithsonian Magazine, from our earliest days we have reimagined and remade ourselves again and again. We have constantly transformed ourselves in the testament of our people, our entrepreneurs and innovators, scientists and engineers, dreamers, tinkerers, and makers of things. America's people, our spirit, a restless searching for the right solution to any problem, an inclination to dream big dreams, and the insistence on making those dreams come true, an enduring faith even in the darkest hours that brighter days lie ahead. Based on his article, Obama summarizes how American optimism is unique because of its fundamental foundation, which the first settlers based their newfound lives upon as a way to survive. Without the idea and value of optimism and the impulse to pursue happiness, America would not be as socially, economically, and technologically advanced as it is today. Even a writer from Time magazine, Jeffrey Colger, boasts, We created outrageous things just because we could. The Hoover Dam, the Golden Gate Bridge, the Empire State Building, which started to rise a year after the stock market crashed. And 40 years later, true to our hot, rotting American spirit, we succeeded in setting American men to the moon, eventually leaving the tracks on the lunar surface. Even today, Americans continue to see the glass of life half full, despite the burdens of economic downturn, social and racial unrest, and the specter of terrorism. The adversities and shortcomings Americans and people like Louis Zamberini have faced throughout history have taught us the achievement of happiness is not a guarantee, but the important thing is to forge ahead with hopefulness and confidence for the future. The American spirit of optimism has always and will always be an inextinguishable eternal flame in the heart of every American.